So hello again. Um, no, I forgot something in the last part. Um, you have to select the domain again, and here in the first texture, set this color to white. Um, oh, okay. You can see that this part is uh, pink. So, um, set it, set this to white, and now. There is no pink anymore. Um, so, but now we can see that here, the the, um, the fire turns to smoke, and after some time, it dissolves. So I think we can change the value of the solving to twenty. Um. Okay. Um. Just. I'm rendering again. Okay. So yeah, at first we have to uh, rebake everything. So free all bakes and bake all dynamics again. Um. So this is now our result rendered again, and you can see there is uh, now not so many fire, and the smoke dissolves faster. Okay. Um now we can we have to yeah we can only set now the division to two hundred sixty five and free all bakes and then bake all dynamics. Uh, so this should be your result. Um you can see now this um there's now m many more details um so now go to the render panel and set the resolution here to hundred and set the type to a v g p e g or another video f um file uh select here your output and just render one image um yeah you can see now um again this f fire um but now i'm going to do some uh some color corrections so press control left and activate nodes. Now add uh, a render layer and a composite node. I think uh, these two nodes should be there as default. Um, now add a RGB curve and just connect this output to this input and this output to this input. Um, so we have to re-render it by clicking here. Um, and you can see here now every time your result. Um, so now you can here change the values. And yeah, you can now just add a bit more red and a bit more blue and not so many okay um not so many blue and not so many red okay um okay i think this is okay now um you can see this is the image without compositing and this is the image with compositing um so and now you can hit render the animation and then um this should be your result so um
Thanks for watching.